this is probably the wildest onsen I've tried in Japan. This is the kind of hot spring I like. In the middle of nature, not really accessible. That makes everything more special. I hope we really don't encounter any bears here. Good morning, people. It's 7 a.m. and we're ready to leave this campsite. Um, this morning we woke up at around 5 a.m. and we could see all the boats who go out to sea down here. You can still see a few of them and they go to harvest the, the kombu, the algae that they dry on these lands nearby. Um, it is a beautiful place. We were so lucky to spend the last couple of days here and we had both fog and we had a little bit of sun. So so we enjoyed these beautiful views. It was amazing. Now it's time to hit the road. My bike now is loaded. The towels need to dry a little bit more. And Kaido's having some cereals over there. <laughs> Time to leave. What a great place. Okay, ready? Look, this little friend is looking for something to eat this morning. <laughs> We saw all sorts of animals while staying at this campsite. We went to see the sea otters at the very end of the cape. Apparently there's a family of nine over there. Um, it might be getting bigger because there are some babies as well. We also saw some deer here. Uh, we saw horses. We saw a fox walking at night on the streets. <laughs> Amazing. I think the only thing left to see um, are the bears. <laughs> we'll see if we're lucky enough to see them. It is quite cold here. I think it's about 14 degrees, you know. Ooh, plus it's cloudy, so it is pretty cold. Oh, these horses are beautiful. Look at that baby horse. <laughs> really, really cute. We're gonna stop um, at a nearby convenience store to have some breakfast, maybe have some hot coffee because it's really cold. Seiko Mart, the convenience store, has been our to-go place for breakfast and lunch maybe for the past five days. <laughs> uh, And here we are, Seiko Mart. I'm gonna miss this convenience store. And having two croissants, they're really good here. Uh, bought some cereal and yogurt. Let me tell you about today's plans. Today we plan to ride for about 300 kilometers. Right now we're on the east side of Hokkaido and we're gonna drive all the way to somewhere kind of in the middle of Hokkaido. We're gonna be visiting the largest wetland in Japan. It is an area of about 260 square kilometers. That is pretty large and that place is home to so many animals. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to see a few of them. Tonight we're gonna be staying at another campsite and now that I think of, we've been living over our tent for three weeks and it's amazing how comfortable we feel with it because it's like we, we, we're not tired yet. Usually when you start camping all the time, you know, it's like the, the bed is not comfortable enough, it's cold, it's hot, but so far it's been great and well, the weather has been awesome here in Hokkaido, so uh, it hasn't been that hot. Well, that truck is transporting all the algae 
<laughs> so now we're gonna stay at another campsite and this campsite it's located next to another beautiful onsen it is a natural hot spring and the name of this hot spring is actually Shika no Yu, which translates into the deer onsen it might be popular for deer to visit the area and I'm not sure we'll see when we get there I guess <laughs> guys look at this truck um, this truck here is also transporting all the algae who knows where it's going look at all that algae <laughs> amazing every day every day people go out to see and bring in amazing quantities like huge quantities of that algae look at that piece of land over there it is almost completely flat that's really interesting wow when we first got here we couldn't see any of this because there was a thick layer of fog and now it isn't sunny but at least um, you you can see all of these uh, little island over there wow What an incredible place, it's so peaceful here, just looking at the sea, the greenery surrounding this area, amazing. Hey buddy, there is a little fox here, you wanna cross? Come on, go ahead, go ahead buddy, oh I'm at the bottom, at the buddy, 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 buddy. Bye, boy. So according to Google Maps, we've got the sea on the left and a lake on the right. I mean, it's just an extension of the sea, isn't it? <laughs> So many birds waiting to have a piece of the fishes the fishermen bring in. <laughs> they haven't had their breakfast yet. Wow, look at this fishing town right next to the sea here. Now, there are like many small towns like this one um, all over Hokkaido, all over the places we've been. Um, you cross the mountain and then you go down to sea level and you find one community then again into the mountains again down to the seaside and you find another community yeah pretty special wow 7-eleven haven't seen one of those in a while we're not gonna be riding anymore along the coast instead we're gonna take this route into the mountains and to the center of Hokkaido this landscape here it's so vast you don't usually get these views uh, in the rest of Japan because most of the land 
it is used for agriculture um, so it is very very rare it feels weird for me just to look at this land like that where there is absolutely nothingもう そんな中超ハッピーなことが起きました。キャンプ場に戻ったらなんと漁師さんたちがパーティーをやっててですね、え、余った蟹をいただいてしまいました。しかも漁が半端ないですよ。見てください。蟹2杯。そしてエビ。
舗装された道路が<笑>目の前に見えますあ着きましたここですねあここだなここからあの階段を登っていくんですね展望台オッケーこったろ第一展望台行きましょうThis view reminds me of the wetlands in Colombia. It is just this vast land with rivers, ponds, and lots of animals. It's just beautiful. Wow, this wetland was amazing, really amazing. I mean, I was born in Japan here and I'm 36 years old. And I haven't even known that there is something like this here in Japan. It's wonderful. Whoa, 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 amigo, it's quite dangerous. Okay, so now we are heading to the Daisetsuzan. Daisetsuzan, it means in Japanese, the huge snow mountain. Even now, maybe, in, even in summer, there must be few snow there. People go super fast here. Yeah, it's too much. You see? No, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Now I have a problem. Now that we are riding in the middle of the mountain, I cannot find a gas station. And I need it. Really, I need it. I'm really worried about running out of gas. There must be somewhere here on the street. Yes, there is. Cosmo. Cosmo gas station. Oof. 160 yen. I don't even know if it's cheap or expensive. ここら辺で美味しいイタリアンないですか？空港の近くにあのグリーンパーランであるんですけど、そこはあのコーキキャップとかあと。あ本当ですか？はい。波波入れちゃってください。あわかりますよ。ありがとうございます。うう。助かりました。ありましたレストラングリーンパーラーオーケーいつひるおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
Well, it turns out the restaurant, the guy um, from the gas station recommended us. It wasn't an Italian restaurant. It was more like a steakhouse. Anyway, Kaito ended up eating there. I guess I'm gonna just find something uh, else to eat later. What are those yellow flowers over there? What a beautiful contrast between the yellow and the green. Ah, uh, sunflowers! We still have about one more hour of riding before reaching our campsite and I can't wait to soak in the hot springs because today it's been a little bit too cloudy and a little bit too cold for my taste. Hello there! Wow, they all got so curious with our presence. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> this is so much fun. They all came no closer. Well, I guess we are not 100% lucky with the weather and it just started raining a little bit stronger. So we're gonna get, um, we're gonna wear our rain gear. It started raining so bad that we decided to pass out the rain here at this uh, roadside station. Thank God we found uh, some parking with this roof. We're gonna see if we can find something inside to snack on while we wait on this rain. Ah, I've been craving pizza for so long. We found it in this remote area. Good. Mm. Now it's not the rain, but the fog. It is covering all of the mountains at the front. Uh, honestly, at, at least it's not raining. Can't wait to soak on that hot spring. The river, we're getting closer. The hot spring is supposed to be next to the river. That was quite dangerous. This wild deer crossing the street, really all of a sudden. Sorry, buddies. This place is honestly very, very secluded. I wasn't expecting it to be this high in the mountains we have crossed god knows how many deer while climbing up here uh, so we're trying to go really really slow just because really they come out of nowhere just like this bam so if we go fast it is it, it can be it, it can be quite dangerous oh see and we have an encounter any other car, any other person, any other rider, nothing, nobody for the past maybe 30 minutes? I don't know. Let's see what this place turns out to be. It looks like we're finally here. Um, wow, some deer over there again. Um, we're not really sure where the campsite is. This seems to be the hot spring, maybe? <laughs> the deer just saying hi over there. Hey, buddies! Apparently, this is not it, guys. This is, uh, this is a separate hotel. Oh, I think we finally found the campsite and it's really hidden in between the bushes we asked someone at the building up there but he didn't know anything about a campsite I was scared that we were we will be the only ones at the campsite 
I think I wouldn't be able to sleep like that. <sighs> Probably one of the hardest campsites to find, honestly. So this is a paying campsite. I think it costs about, oh yeah, it says 250 yen per person. That's about um, less than two dollars. Well, our tent is already set up. Kaito is snacking on some dry fish. You really be, you get, really gotta be careful with those. They might attract some bears. Um, over there at the very end we have the toilets and on the other side we have uh, the water station. We're now going to try this hot spring next to the river. Ah, I was looking forward to this moment this whole time. Oh yes. This is probably the wildest onsen I've tried in Japan. This is the kind of hot spring I like. In the middle of nature not really accessible that makes everything more special i hope we really don't encounter any birds here it's amazing just there on the river there is a deer can you see it wow That's why people call here Shika no Yu, Shika Hot Spring. But honestly, I'm pretty scared. Wow, it's over there. Over there. Wow, this is super cool. I'm loving this that we're getting out of here before it gets dark. Wow, it's this one. Yeah. getting dark pretty soon and I don't want to be out here when that happens これは、これは、やばい。この環境の中での鹿がいます。鹿に見られてます。Amazing experience, you know. If it were not in such a wild place, I would stay here longer. Um, but we don't want any bear, bears to encounter here. It's 9 p.m. and we're already here in our tent. There were so many insects coming after us like it was impossible. We didn't even have dinner today. Like we were outside, we turned on the lights and there were so, so many bugs. Like, I, I don't mind bugs, you know, like I'm okay with insects. I'm okay with that. But today there were way too many, way too many. So we decided just to call it a day. Uh, we're gonna go to bed and tomorrow we'll find somewhere else to sleep probably. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe down below to our channel to keep on following our adventures. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.